Uh, hi guys, this is just a quick update video um, for the Laplander sheath. Um, had a bit of a think about the Laplander sheath over the last few weeks and come up with a slightly different design. And this is it. Um, this is the old sheath. And you can see that this sheath is probably about half an inch longer and the reason for the the extra length is so that i can fit um, two holes in the bottom so you can put a lanyard through it and also i've fitted a welt although you don't really need a welt for this uh, sheath uh, the back end the back side of the saw is uh, quite blunt so it's not going to cut anything but it, the welt actually adds a bit, a bit of strength to the sheath and gives a bit of strength to the, the holes at the bottom as well. That's a nice fit as well there. Um, the new sheath is going to come fitted with brass fittings. So you've got a, a brass D loop here and brass, uh, uh, brass snaps. And also I'll be uh, selling it with the uh, lanyard attached as well. Um, the dangler opens out like this, which means that you can slide the, the dangler under your uh, belt, so you don't have to take your belt off, and then just fold it over and click it on. And you've got the cord at the bottom that you can tie to your leg if you want to uh, so that when you sit down the sheath will bend uh, with, with your leg um, the leather itself is a new leather to me I've found a new supplier and uh, this leather is actually Italian um, but um, it's a much softer I think better leather it works a treat, I mean, it's, it's beautiful to work with. Um, takes the dye nice. Uh, all round, it's, it, I think it's a lot better than the other leather I was using. And that wasn't bad either, really. Anyway, th that, that's, uh, that's the new Laplander sheath. Uh, another, another thing with the setup where I've added the, uh, the paracord is that you can actually um, either wear this on your belt or you can attach it to uh, molly straps on uh, on a, a, a backpack or anything like that. So it's always on the outside, and uh, it's there to 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 use rather than having to go through the pack looking for it. It's a nice nice resistive fit. Another thing, another thing with the sheaves that I found out actually, um, thanks to Sandy at Jacklaw Knives, is that if you're right-handed, and this is basically a right-handed sheath, um, by wearing this on the left and being a right-handed sheath, it's actually quite a lot easier to draw out when it's on your belt because the shape of the Laplander is slightly curved like a banana, as you know, and it seems to pull out easier that way. So from now on, uh, I shall be recommending to people who want a sheath that if they are right-handed and they're carrying the, sh the uh, Laplander on the left-hand side uh, to have a right-handed sheath, uh, sheath and obviously vice versa if you're left-handed. I'll show you this attached to uh, my Miltec um, backpack in a second so you can see uh, just how versatile it actually can be. This is my Miltec uh, backpack and as you can see uh, the dangler fits nicely in the molly uh, goes in a tree toucher and all I've done is I've just uh, attached it on the bottom with the um, with the paracord there so you can actually carry this attached to your pack on the outside rather than having it um, pushed inside the, the, the pack so you, you don't have to open the pack to uh, to find your saw that, that, that's one of the other reasons why I wanted to fit the, uh, the paracord on the bottom. That's why I've, I've put these two holes in. So as you can see, um, it's a bit more versatile than the other one. 
Um, I hope you like it. And the only the only thing is with this sheath is that because I'm using um, all brass fittings, I've changed my like I said I changed my leather supplier. Uh, I'm using a much better quality leather now than I was before. Um, I'm going to have to, I'm afraid, put the price up slightly. I try and keep my prices as low as I can. Um, I'm not one of these people who ask outrageous prices for, for bits of leather. I try and make it so that they're affordable to, to most people, really. Um, and the, the increase is only going to be a small increase just to cover the costs of the extra fittings because the brass fittings are, are obviously uh, a lot more expensive than the than the steel ones that I've been using. Uh, anyway, look, guys, if you want, if you're interested in buying one of these, uh, please contact me via my email address. Don't contact me through uh, through YouTube because I never get the the notifications that I've received a personal message. Um, so I'll put my email address below on the screen there and it will also be in the information uh, below as well so if you're interested in purchasing one of these please contact me i'll be uh, more than happy to make one for you and uh, as i say please use my uh, my email address thanks for watching guys and uh, take care